Hi, this is Beth Bueller with Hope Unlimited, where we help overwhelmed professionals excel and exhale. At the time of recording this, we're getting ready to round the corner into a new year. Um, by the time it publishes on the site, it'll be a few weeks into the year. But I feel the topic is an evergreen one. So just briefly, I want to ask you, are you concentrating on some new goals in this next new year or new quarter or new month that's coming? Or are you thinking more about forming habits? Goals are great, and a lot of wise people set goals. Um, I have different goals myself, but I have found that sometimes getting into a good habit is more valuable in pushing forward what could be long-term goals anyway. Let me tell you about one I do with reading. I don't feel like I read as much as I should of long form um, since the dawn of social media and sound bites. However, since about 2012, if I recall correctly, I have been finishing one book a month. Uh, that has been a goal uh, of mine, but it's a habit that I've formed that I finish at least one book a month. Notice I don't say start and finish a book a month, but I finish one. So if I have a book in progress, like in December of each year, you know, I usually have a book that I'm reading throughout the year, kind of a, a inspirational devotional thoughts. So it's kind of a daily thing. So by December, it's a default as the finishing that, that book in December. And there's some other books sometimes that are longer treatments of things that I may spread out over uh, several weeks or a few months. Uh, and then some shorter books in between that I may finish, start and finish within a month. But my point is that that habit um, has kept me going now for going on, what, four or five? five years, I guess I'm completing my fifth year of doing this, and it has at least helped me consistently be reading. Um, I do hope to maybe increase my book reading in the, in, in the new season, but my point with this topic is to, to share that, is it is sometimes better to put your efforts into the type of daily, weekly, and monthly habits you want to do. Instead of saying, I want to read 100 books this year, what would be your habit? Breaking it down, well, your habit would be that you'll read an hour uh, every other day or something. Just whatever habit would help support that goal. I really think that the habits are where it's at. It's where where we move the needle is by consistently doing small things on a regular, very persistent, consistent basis that you'll actually see things grow over time towards your larger goals. So plan on increasing your good habits instead of just making goals, or maybe even instead of making a goal, just make it a habit. If you make it a habit to exercise regularly, instead of having a goal of losing so many pounds or getting in, you know, being able to do a 5k in so many minutes. If you do the habits, a lot of times the goals will start surfacing themselves. You know, the results will surface themselves over the habits you've made. So that's my encouragement for you today. Concentrate a little bit more on habits than some of the goals you have and see if you don't actually accomplish uh, the goals in the process. Thanks for watching and I do encourage you to regularly visit bethbutler.com which is also helping-pros.com. Uh, by the time you see this, uh, we should have a new up-to-date website that's more modernized and easier to navigate uh, that I'm excited about. So enjoy, and I hope it's a benefit to you. Thanks again for watching.